Excellencies and friends, thank you so much for inviting me to speak at the opening of the Peatlands Pavilion at COP26. As UNEP's Emissions Gap report issued a few weeks ago made clear, updated climate commitments ahead of COP26 summit fall far short of what is required to avoid climate catastrophe. We have eight years to halve emissions, eight years to increase ambitions, make new plans, put in place new policies, and implement them and ultimately deliver emissions reductions. We can still get the job done, but only if we get moving now and only if we take advantage of every opportunity. And as we look at the opportunities before us, nature solutions to a warming planet demand attention. I'm therefore delighted that we've come together to mark five years of the Global Peatlands Initiative because peatlands found in more than 170 countries in the world offer super solutions for people, for climate and for the planet. In 2019, UNEP, along with 12 partners, established the Global Peatlands Initiative, aiming to support countries in addressing peatland degradation and loss. Since then, this partnership has grown to include the four major tropical peatland countries of Indonesia, the Republic of Congo, the Democratic Republic of Congo and Peru. In addition, 46 other international organizations have joined hands to build a strong coalition for action. And I am pleased to see the results. In 2018, Indonesia, the Republic of Congo, the Democratic Republic of Congo, committed to the Brazzaville Declaration to save one of the largest peatlands in the world. Together with Peru, these countries have established the International Tropical Peatland Center to support this effort. We saw great commitments in the fourth UN Environment Assembly resolution on peatlands. We celebrate England and Germany that recently developed peatland strategies. And I congratulate Scotland for your commitment to restoration and encourage other countries to step up ambition for peatlands restoration targets. But we must all do much, much more. Allow me to share three areas for your consideration. As countries seek to develop the ambitious plans via the NDCs and beyond, peatlands are a sure shot win to reduce emissions, to support resilience and to improve ecosystems health. I congratulate countries, including Indonesia and Peru, for leading the way on this. But remember, as I said earlier, 170 countries have peatlands, so many more should follow suit. The second point is that investment and finance need to lean in. I'm pleased to see private banks and initiatives put in place investment criteria that prohibit peatlands to be drained or degraded. But we need everyone to make no deforestation, no peat and no exploitation the norm rather than the exception. And there will be many opportunities in the UN decade for ecosystem restoration to make sure that this happens. And third and finally, South-South cooperation is critical to the success of global restoration efforts. And in this regard, I acknowledge with deep gratitude the work of the Global Peatlands Initiative partners. We hope to inspire more countries to come on board to protect the world's peatlands. Thank you.